Welcome back to Wallatopia. Don't forget to visit explore.wallatopia.info. I'm kind of been pushing that lately. It's kind of a fun site, interactive, a lot of filters and things to find your next wallet. Now, like so many wallets we review, the Ergon wallet was highly requested. Made in France, it's a card case with magnets. So let's get into it. All right, this is the Ergon. Got some umlauts here. This is the Cascade model. This is a kind of a neat case. It's got a obviously a transparent front that provides a nice view of the color you're getting. This is a very typical-esque designed um, retail type box, which is nice. Got a little booklet in here that gives you instructions, which I think is always appreciated. But we'll talk about what some of this means and yeah, you know, we, we, yeah, anyway. All right, let's take a look at the wallet itself. The Ergon Cascade. So you're going, well, this just looks like kind of a box wallet. Well, it is. It's got a push up lever from the side. Nice little demo card here for us to look at. And we can see that, ooh, see that? Hear that? That's the magnet part. You can see that we've got uh, corresponding magnets there and here. That gives us a solid closure, which I don't disagree with. I kind of like the solid closure, but it's the magnet part that just kind of makes this a little dangerous. Nice, it's this thin leather here. You can see the sewing. And on the box itself, obviously the internals is a plastic insert that has a connection to the trigger. And that's the Aragon Cascade. Great. Now to the feature review of the Aragon Cascade. With this wallet, it's obviously a box wallet. So we have the box component here. This can hold up to six cards that are non-embossed embossed cards would be you know three to four if they were all that way or a mixture will get you less than the full six it also has an internal card slot right here this internal card slot uh, is quite nice it's uh, you know great for just quick access even though this kind of seems like a quick access but anyway this might be a bus pass could be ID uh, non credit card type things in here and then what we have here is really a cash wrap this is a cash wrap environment the cache would tuck into here, folds across, and then provides a wrap environment to get uh, the cache where it needs to be. Of course, you could also put cards in here, but you can tell from this extra piece here that's really meant for cache. And so that is a review of the features of the Ergon Cascade wallet. Now onto the card and cache insertion test. Minimalist carry on this, three. I mean, you can get six in here if you've got non-embossed cards. Uh, I'm sure, you know, five is fine. Eight is cards is what they say it can carry because you've got this secondary slot right here in the back. Um, and from a cash perspective, it fit them all just fine. Again, the height we have here fits all currencies across it. It's not really a problem. From a quality perspective, uh, it works, like I mentioned, all currencies and environments in, their, in this wrap environment. I really like it. It's designed and made in France. This is a box made of aluminum, and the plastic insert is a polycarbonate. You know, both materials are recyclable, and they do have a vegan leather option as well as part of this. Now, the leather on this version is their premium version, but it appears that all their leather is genuine in nature. Now, I did find that their leather comes from tanneries in Italy, so I suspect it's actually of a higher quality, but they didn't really go out of their way to mention that in any of the details. Um, this particular wall, the finished leather is on both sides. that You can see right here, so it's it's a finish it's not so what i'm getting at is that you don't see a, a flesh side here at all that it is a finished leather on both sides of this and even on the interior uh, you can see that it has a finished side to it which 
you know, is, is nice from a look perspective and there's nothing wrong with that. Now we've mentioned in the past that we've had concerns about the adhesive that's used to attach this leather wrap portion to the back of the wallet here. And as you can see, th this one is on here really good. Uh, the adhesive is used well and I like the fact that it lines up perfectly with the box itself. It just gives it a nice aesthetic that you don't really kind of think about, but you know, pulling away from this, it's just not going to happen without a lot of effort or doing it on purpose. Now, like we always do, uh, we will, with box wallets anyway, I'll remove these and we will get a camera to take a look at the interior of this. As you can see, the mechanism here at the bottom is a it, plastic mechanism, of course. It does have uh, the typical spring part and it's a slide up from the side. And so obviously it's got a lever at the bottom, the spring there, and it, you know, it, it's a very common type mechanism that we see here, nothing really special, but it does kind of seem to work on a bit of a fulcrum. Now, of course, the sides themselves, it's important to see that uh, it does have some felt stoppers on both sides, and that's really important so as cards are extracted, they don't go flying out, that they actually come out in a uniform way as that uh, the, the teeth on the pusher pull, pushes them out in a, in a nice presentation. The price on this is $60. I think it's very reasonable. And there are some distinct usage instructions that lend itself to possible demagnetization. And we talked about that with, uh, you know, if it's not followed properly, I, I know. We always talk about magnets. And let, let me show you the instruction page. Immediately off the bat here, we can see that there are ways uh, to put your cards in. Uh, the, there are magnets sitting on the back of this right here. You can see right there that there are little circles there that indicates the magnets. We do not want the strips to be on the same side as the magnets. That could cause demagnification. And on this opposite side, on the card slot here, you do not want to have your strip on the inside right there facing those magnets, otherwise it could demagnetize. And so you do have to understand um, where you're placing your cards and keep a conscious idea of that or make it a habit. So I don't know how you feel about that. I love how the use of the magnets keeps the exterior cover closed securely, but if I have to, if I make a mistake and it demagnetizes my cards, that's not cool. And I shouldn't have to put that much thought into how I work with my wallet. Really, don't make me think. Now the way suggested isn't my preferred way of viewing my cards either. When they come in, they come out. I don't know. The, the demagnetization is kind of a concern for me. One thing I did find with this, um, with this trigger mechanism is that it's not really easy to use. I mean, honestly, it's, uh, you have to put some a lot of effort to push these cards up. It's, it uh, is not easy, and often the trigger will get stuck at the top. It's not me holding it. Sometimes they just, they just get stuck at the top, and I'm not sure why. But anyway, not quite the function I was expecting, or the ease. I just could be a weakling, but honestly, I shouldn't have to put that much effort to get my cards out of the wallet. Now it does have a very sleek look, and so I've had to look at the bumper size here, the larger bumper the size of the bottom is what you do to push up, and that's where I know I'm at the front. It does have a measurement of 3.8 by 2.6 by 0.5, and it weighs 83 grams. A little hefty, but you know that's what you expect from a box wallet. Now Ergon has a broad range of card ca uh, cases, as well as a clever coin dispensers that you might want to look at. Uh, all right, I'll show you here. This is what it looks like. Their first products were aluminum clamshell wallets which they pioneered in Europe. And they've been in operation since 2004 and since 2015 have manufactured and assembled all their products in France. I think that's great to see. In-country construction, manufacturing, awesome. They do have a lifetime warranty on their products, which is also a positive for any company that you purchase from. So now let's get into the final score. For quality of four, price of three, features of four, usability of two, these magnets and that sticky slider, just not really happy with that, and perception of four. And that gives us a final score of 33 out of 50. You want to see all the rest of the rankings that we have? Uh, go to wallatopia.info slash rankings. Subscribe. Tell your friends. I mean, we are really the only dedicated wallet channel still alive on YouTube. Still here. We'll see you in the next review. Thanks. Bye.